around. Today I will react to the 15th episode of Attack on Titan. Next week will be the final episode of the final episode of the final season of Attack on Titan. Very fitting. And yeah, I've just saw a few minutes ago the 14th episode. It was so epic, especially a fight against Zeke versus uh, Levi. And in this episode we'll probably get a whole episode just about Zeke, his backstories, his ambitions and everything. Because this is pretty important later for the Hemia and Aaron part. And I sh probably should mention that I'm a manga reader, so, so sorry if I have spoiled anything. I will spoil pretty much, or will spoil more later on. So, yeah, let's go to the actual episode. I'm rambling again. And there are the slaves. Like, this is his whole theme in his uh, life. Hmm, the voice actors, it reminds me of someone. Those eyes. <laughs> Again, the discrimination, this is just... Horrible. But Zeke is changing the world in a different direction. Oh, we're already here. It was fast. <laughs> oh god. This will be a really, well, interesting episode. Zeke is just a very interesting character with an amazing voice actor. <laughs> it's like, don't think that the opening will change. Like, I think it will be the same for the whole rest of, rest of the two remaining episodes. God damn, my English. <laughs> this is my last word. Da -da 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 -da. Damn, it's so good, this opening. I'm so excited how the anime only will react to the um, Zeke episode, because it will change a little bit how the people are perceiving it. Him, not it. <sighs> there are no changes. But still, this intro is still epic. And I will uh, repeat myself on the statement. Alright, let's go. 15th episode. I'm 14th episode? I don't know anymore. Soul Salvation. Oh, the connection between those. All those warrior talk that we had in the first episode and now continues till the last episode. It's just it's a nice circle they go around. Oh, Zeke.
such interesting history, like... <laughs> Very good summary of whole history. <laughs> He asked her. But a cat sounds much better than history books about massacres. <laughs> Such a fucking childhood like. It's horrible. How lonely he is. He has no friends at all. Uh, so I really like the music piece with the piano. It just feels very fragile, very sad and young and naive. Very fitting. Just two different realities. Zeke left alone forever with so many different realities and then he his name I've already forgot The ape titan. It's nice that they actually like training about the beast titan. <laughs> like training the throwing because this is like Zeke's signature uh, move. And a good beast titan. And we get more of the key scenes why Zeke betrayed his family, his father especially. <laughs> oh, there's pressure. Of course he has broken down. He's just a kid. Whoa, this is just so dark. Of course he breaks down like this pressure on all the shit around him. It's even worse than a manga because the actual music and animation is breathtaking.
That's a true researcher. He needs the source to research. Two soulmates, finally. <laughs> it's such an innocent approach, like, oh, like... Uh... Damn, Grisha is just a <laughs> whole mental on another level, like, you see the resemblance to Aaron. So much pressure on such a young boy, like, oh. Oh no, not Faye. Fucking dogs, they started everything. Just dogs. <sighs> the music, like... Zeke's backstory is just fucked up. There's such a... I didn't love you. Oh! <laughs> like to see both sides of the story, Grisha and... Damn. Look at Annie that we actually see again. And everyone else. <laughs> now this will get now interesting. Mm-hmm. Everyone is connected through the paths. Yes, they are always connected, even though they want to, they are connected. And 
now oh no this is the actual plan Aaron he agreed that they will um well what is the word for that like no kids can be conceived anymore like they will all die out oh no So cool. Such bullshit, like, oh, both big stories. <laughs> and now the music, oh no. If only he hadn't been born in this world. Like just two different photos like I've been born in this world and I wish I wouldn't been born in this world like this ideas of Aaron and Zeke are clashing so hard right now mm. yeah he's freeing them out because he wants them to die out it's not the best plan ever Her sister has royal blood. Oh yes. This was so important, the last chapters of the manga. Euthanasia plan. Oh. <laughs> it was really a better father than Grisha. I could sure it was ice cold. Wow, that's... I just love this backstory. Like, everything makes no sense of because of we see now his side of the story. It's just different. And Aaron is just using this. Like, he has his own plan going on. And Zig isn't even know, know nothing about it. Oh, it's such a horrible way.
you know, Zeke is finding someone who is like sympathizing and now he can be the actual key, which we always talk about. But he will do this in his own terms. Lisa, he actually said the word. He gives his legacy. Well, saving is one word for the euthanasia plan. Well, they buy. Zeke has his own plan going on. He will survive this to will do the crucial part. cruel world like oh my god <laughs> oh no not the horses oh that's just brutal Oh no, sorry, oh, that, that was fast. Oh my god. <laughs> How the hell they want to wrap everything up in the last episode? Like, we've, we've, we've had Yimia tease at an ending. Will we actually see in the next episode? Like, what will happen in the next episode? Like, will the season end with uh, the start of the rumbling? I'm so confused, but nevertheless, the backstory was pretty epic. I love it so, so, so much. But my heart. <laughs> like, Zeke is brutal, but he's also a victim of circumstances. Like, every lady and Malian and everyone in the story, like, it's just so brutal and grim and so fitting. And the mangaka just knows how to depict humanity, its nature, in a very good way. So... How the hell will they do this last episode? I'm just so excited for it. Like, I can't even... <sighs> I don't know what to say. I'm excited for the preview. Like, I really want to see how much or how far we will actually go. And if we will actually see any again or just in the next season or movie. So, let's go. Preview, preview, preview. Future we see on the line. All right, all right. See, I see. Above and below. <gasps> Just like with the uh, manga title, like it's really similar to the last manga chapter that was released. Oh my god. I think we will actually see the, well, Yimia or at least the path thing, and everyone will be like, what the hell is this? Where, who's this girl? And. Oh my god, I'm so excited for the next episode, like, the hype is so high, like, even higher than the actual camera can show, but <laughs> nevertheless, what do you think about this episode, what do you think about Zeke's backstory, do you actually like him, hate him, what do you, what do you think about it, so please tell me in the comments, and yeah, thank you, and have a nice day.